More empathetic. No, no. <laughs> I thought of that the other day. Well, empathy is good, though. Empathy, uh, yeah, it can be good. I think that is. Uh, I think that's what a lot of uh, what this country and a lot of a lot of people are missing is empathy. The ability uh, to, to understand and share the feelings of another. That is empathy. And we are going to try and understand and share the feelings of a rosé for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Keith. And we are AboutBeverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Empathy Wines Rosé 2018, yes, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Um, I saw the number 2019 for some reason on one of the other things you showed. But I yeah. was pretty sure I'd seen 18 on this particular thing. This uh, comes from, this is a whole Gary Vaynerchuk thing, right? This yeah, is, this yeah. is a Gary Vaynerchuk uh, joint. Like I said, he started this uh, a while back. I don't know. Not exactly sure how long this has been going on, but at least at least a couple of years now, I think, uh, you know, he's sourcing from certain wineries, creating, you know, these blends, putting them together, trying to find. I think he's trying to find what he always did through his, you know, when he had uh, his Gary TV, his wine library TV that he always did. It was always finding that great, amazing flavor and, you know, of wine at like a little bit better value. Still probably spending more because, you know, sometimes you do have to spend more to get, uh, you know, ultimate flavor. Right. Uh, but it was always just finding those really great really great wines and being able to have them accessible to other people. Like that was always what, at least what I always got uh, out of his shows. And I, I enjoy, like I said, uh, I follow him in many different places. I always really like uh, everything that he does. Uh, so, and I've even used, uh, he has the wine text, which I've talked about oh, yeah. on the show. We've done that a few times. We've ordered things through that, through that service, uh, which is really neat. If you want to find out more about that, just search for a wine text on, on Twitter uh, and you can learn about how that service works. Um, I just remember watching those videos that he did back in the day, and he had the sometimes he'd have that New York Jets helmet with his like spittoon, <laughs> yeah, that, that he used. But uh, so the fact that he, that this is named empathy, does that have anything to do with? The, I mean, did you just pick that word or is there like, that's some... something he pushes in all of his talks and okay. everything else is like, he feels that that's what people need to have is empathy and, and like what is going to be also that he has on the cork is what is going to be your leg, your legacy greater than currency. That's what your legacy is about. Like what you put out there into the world, what you do, uh, you know, for others and helping them out, achieve their goals, achieve their happiness. That is what he is about, and I am completely on board with all of that. So, all right. uh, but yeah, I've been wanting to try these for a while. Usually for uh, quite some time, and they were only available. Uh, you had to because he has a, there's a red a rose, a white, and a red blend, um, and uh, you could only get them as those three packs. And then more recently, they finally have, and maybe they've had this for a little bit longer. Like I said, they've created the collection where you can get one of each. Uh, and uh, this uh, hit my inbox, and it said free shipping, and I said. Let's Sign go. <laughs> let's go. Let's do a uh, let's do a podcast on it. Maybe we'll do even more of these. Who knows? We'll see how this one goes. And if we really like it, maybe we'll, we've got two others that we can try. So we've got some content going here. But uh, I definitely my eyes were open to Rosé's probably a little more so last summer when you were bringing some stuff from Trader Joe's yeah, like, we've... You know, some different lighter wines some definitely some yeah. summer wines. It's getting warmer here already. So yeah, Which today was slightly cooler. I think it was only mid 80s. But yeah, it's been oh, yeah. in the 90s. I had high to 90s. wear a parka. <laughs> practically uh, wearing a parka. jeans and a parka today. Uh, but yeah, this is a quite a blend. There's a lot yeah. of different things in here. Yeah, I was going to um, say. We were bringing this up. Uh, kind of, I was kind of shocked, honestly, how many things were in here. But there's Syrah, Pinot Noir, uh, Grenache, uh, Barbera, which I had never heard of before. Um, and uh, there's a Muscat in here. There's, and there's a couple others. Like, it's a lot of different grapes in here. So this is a quite a sourced blend yep. that he is. So this is the flavor profile that he was looking for. Uh, total price for the collection for all three bottles, it was $60, so shipping was free. So I don't know if you want to say it that this bottle is $20. Who knows, they may not all be created equal. I don't know how that would exactly break down. Right. Uh, your mileage may vary, so. Yeah, you could be looking at like, what? 25, 25, and 10, or 20, yeah, you know, 25, yeah, who knows? If Any you, combination that adds up to 60. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. And, and also include shipping. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you never know. If you do look at the website, which uh, we'll have a link to down there uh, for their, all the wines, I did notice that if you buy three bottles of just the rose, it is also $60. So okay. I'm assuming all of these then maybe they are considering our $20 bottles. Of, okay. uh, of wine. So we will. Uh, it's nice and easy that way. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it easy for us because, you know, math. Uh, very nice, this light, just pink color. Very light pink, a little, uh, little bit of orange, actually, to me. Oh, like yeah, pink, I can see that. Pink yeah. and a little, little orange, but yeah, uh, but, uh, but definitely on the lighter side, for sure. Mm -hmm. And these are, I, you may have said, all California, right? Yes. California grapes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I believe so. California rosé. All right. 12.9% uh, ABV on this one, almost 13. Yeah, almost 13%. I thought I had seen that as well. 
Okay. All of these were, I think, they almost kind of went up. I think the red is around 15, the other one's around 14, and this one's like 13. So, like I said, it all, you know, a little on, not on the higher. It seems like wines have been getting a little higher in ABV lately. I don't know if you've noticed that at all, but it seems like every time we there go, we're always kind of yeah. shocked. Like, oh, wow, that one's 13. Almost. Yeah. So. Not a lot, not, I don't know. There's not a lot of fruit. It's a lot. To me, it's like more skin or, you know, or like a, more of a rind. Yeah. Uh, just more I get a, a little bit of that. I get initially, I do get some strawberry and then I get like some like rose water kind of thing. Like there's like kind of a light herbal essence yeah. to there. Like, so there's yeah. that in there. And then I would agree with the rind. There is like some other citrus rind aroma going on in there where it's like, you're getting some more of that uh, pith that earth, not earthy. It's not earthy, uh, but there's like more of that, like out of skin, grape like, skin. Yeah, yeah. Like grape skin kind of thing. Yeah. But it, I like, I actually like the yeah. aroma. Initially I thought it was uh, that it had, um, I thought that the alcohol was kind of coming through a little bit, but that's maybe mellowed that out quite a bit yeah. uh, as well for me. Like I said, but yeah, I, it probably helped after giving a little good swirl there had helped some of that uh, rise up there. Yeah. We did just <clears> open <throat> this. As you can see, I did it literally right, right before your very eyes. So sometimes that, <laughs> that can affect things, but no, I like, I like the aroma. It's maybe a little more subtle than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be yeah. bursting, but maybe that's in the flavor. Let's find out. Okay. Well, that definitely delivered on the flavor. <clears throat> the, the aroma, I was kind of like, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. There's a lot of nice strawberry. There's raspberry. Um, and it's not, but it's not sweet. It's, it's yeah. dry, but yet. Oh, there's a lot of fruit in there. That's, I think, what surprised me the most because a lot of the other rosés that I've had, like I said, either that we've podcasted on or, you know, here and there when I bought a bottle, it's usually not a style I, I go for. Um, I was expecting this to be a lot sweeter, and it's not. It's a lot more complex, like exactly what you just said, raspberry, strawberry, uh, a lot more grounded in, uh, you know, a classic style of wine, but then with, you know, like bringing out some of those lighter notes, which is really good like i yeah. was kind of yeah i was not expecting that at all and so that's definitely on the first sip i was kind of like i had to almost like you did on the aroma i had to readjust my palate i was like wait i was expecting something very sweet this isn't and i was like oh is that and then i took another i was like no i, I like this this is really this is not what i was normally getting i, I like this a lot. i think you're right a little bit of rose like a little rose water a little, yeah like there's something rose still herbal in there something yeah but but the fruit is there that the body's good too. Sometimes when uh, I, I've, I have found that in my experience with rosés, sometimes the, uh, the drier they are, the thinner they are, but this is, I wouldn't say this is, I mean, it's not like full bodied, but no, no, no. It, I, it certainly isn't thin either. It's, no, it's, it's kind of more that it's, it's light, but it's a medium body. Like yeah. I said, it's got a little bit more there, which I was also not expecting. So it's, I mean, you could s just have this as a starter or this, this would hold up to some lighter fare as well, as far as, I think uh, so. you know, with a, you know, some chicken or turkey or, you know, some, something, something like a nice, a salad of some sort. This would, this a would lighter work. charcuterie board. A lighter charcuterie. Yes. <laughs> a lighter charcuterie board. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. Yeah. Like I said, usually rosé, you think about it as mm. immediately having to complement something else, you know, because it's maybe a little thinner in one area. So you're going to kind of try and bring, you know, other flavors to the party, but no, this has got a lot, but this would do it. actually olives and some cheese and yeah, this could, uh, or a salad that had like some artichoke. Oh, I want a big salad. Oh, right? God, a salad actually does salad. sound pretty good. <laughs> Maybe like some sort of like salmon like salad or something. If you had a little bit of just lightly yeah. grilled in there with, with that. Yeah, this is, this is quite delicious. Yeah, I agreed. And initially the aroma to me, I was like, I was like, well, this is good, but it's not like I thought it might be a little more over the top, but that was kind of saved. Like I said, for the, for the flavor, like I said, a lot of different layers of things there. You can really tell that that blend is, is really making things happen. Yeah, that is that is a uh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> that is a lot. It's good. That is really good. And uh, hopefully, what you'll see uh, is there's a lot going on, and is also really good is our website aboutbeverages.com. You can check out uh, everything we've done over there for the last decade. All the podcasts, video reviews, uh, recipes, uh, all different kinds of things. Guests, uh, guests. That's right. That's yes. true. We've had guests. Well, and we need to get some more on as well eventually when we can not have to completely social distance because right. we're already a little less than six feet, but at least we're brothers. <laughs> Uh, and we're being pretty safe. Like this person right here would be like basically barely getting a foot. 
Right. So as soon as we're all vaccinated, we'll get some more guests in here. And they might uh, get the elbow. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Right. They might get the elbow as out. well. Uh, and uh, like, But you can find all of those guests eventually at some point also on uh, YouTube. If you want to subscribe to us there, we would appreciate that uh, for all the latest just video content. If you only want audio, that's cool too. Google Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, all of those places you can find us. If there is a podcast app you like using, search for About Beverages and you will probably find us there. And now on to the pillars. The pillars of social media, which yes. are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one we uh, use most often. Uh, in fact, I just just a little bit ago, I tweeted that we were about to go live what? on Twitch TV slash about beverages, which is what we do most Thursday evenings about five thirty Pacific. Uh, we get together, we record these podcasts, uh, the individual podcasts during uh, the recording of our show which now also the full show goes up on uh, on YouTube. That's true. Um, but we'll let you know what's going on with that. Andrew's going to let you know throughout the week what he is doing, what uh, what gaming might be going on, what beverages are going with that, who he's doing, uh, all every, anything that he's going to be doing throughout the week, he's going to let you know on Twitter. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. Yeah.